We have another mystery box. Oh, yeah. Biggest middle web of hope here in my Arachnotopia. Hey guys, so I got this £75 beginner box from Creatures of the North. It is my first ever order from there and I've heard good things, so let's get this open. This will have a guaranteed female in it and has 100% extra free, so quite excited to dive in, to be honest. Peanuts! 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 Peanuts and more peanuts! Let's get in. Enough of this tomfoolery. What is inside? Um. Okay. That is very compact for like a seventy-five pound mystery box. But okay, okay. That we're gonna keep an open mind and we're gonna go with the flow. What is in here? Let's find out. Also, guys, don't mind my mangy hands. As you can see, nails are undone. I've got dirt under my nails and everything. I've just been doing out the snails. I've been digging out snail eggs and everything else. So we have a calling card. So, yep, yeah, monkey nails. Just don't look at them. Look away, I'm shy. Oh. Okay, that's a lot of slings. Oh, we have a Nandu Tripepe. I like saying Tripepe. What else have we got? We have a, a pumpkin patch, but you can't really tell it's a pumpkin patch because, well, it just wouldn't focus. We have a Samani. That Samani went places, guys. Went places that no Samani should ever go. You'll see as we get further on. We have a <gasps> Sun Tiger. Oh, I've been wanting one of these. Also, monkey nail alert. Monkey nail alert. You guys get it? You're in the hobby. Oh, what we got? Oh, we got a little itty bitty versicolor. It doesn't look too good, to be honest. I don't know. I guess we'll we'll open that up and see how it is when we get it out. We have a... That was my drum roll. We have a... No, that's the pumpkin patch. Before was the grammar stole our pull cripes. Okay. Ignore me, okay? I'm not with it today. And we have a Trinidad Gold, which I have not got. Honestly, the slings, hella good. Oh my God, this is so worth. We have an agent. Oh, my first proper mystery box agent. I got one off Sai, but I've never gotten one from a shop before. <gasps> Female GBB. I love a GBB, and to get a confirmed female is amazing. So now we're going to house these guys, and we're just going to get on with it. So as I do, we're just going to use these pots, fill them up, and yeah be done with it this is going to be quick experience so this is the Tripepe have you guys got like a a name of a tarantula like that you just love to say mine is Tripepe what's your guys everybody's got one that sounds fun when they say it don't lie to me guys Ah, it's so itty bitty. Up next, we have. Oh, the Grammar Stola Polkripes. Ah, oh, which, which is a Shaka Goldnick. Oh, 
let my manky nails open you up there, little guy. Now, don't freak out, people. I am not hurting the sling. I am literally, I'm hardly even touching it. I'm literally teasing it out. I am not squashing, as you'll see. I am just teasing. Teasy, weezy, weezy. And there it is. Aww. I love a gold knee. Ah, it wiggled its bum. Too cute. Too cute. In you go, be free, my love. Much welcomed into my little collection. Next up, we have the pumpkin patch this time. The pumpkin of the patch. Mm. I'm in a right good mood today, and I don't know why. Out you come. These are stunning little tarantulas. Ah, oh, oh my god, look at the markings. Absolutely love them. Go into your home, my little one, and be free. And there it is. Absolutely beautiful. Who do we have next? Next up we have, oh my lord, this Samani. You guys won't actually see it on camera, but believe you me when I tell you, this Samani went places. Yeah, it just, it went places. So I'm preparing at home, you know, as I do. More dirt under the fingernails, why not? Let's pat it all down, get it right in there. Give it a little haul. A little bit of leaf litter, it's how I've been doing them all. And let's get this little sling out of here. So this little sling, it's a pretty decent size sling. And I'm getting it out, as I did with the other ones, just teasing it out. And poop, out it comes. Look how gorgeously sized that is. And then it went on, and then it was gone. Guys, I tried. Let me tell you now, it was in my armpit. It went from my armpit into my bra. I had to strip off my top. And, oh my god. And, yep, eventually I found the culprit. I had to take off my top and yeah it was in it was amongst the boobage it was in the armpit it was having a good sniff honestly what a naughty little sling next up we are gonna do the arboreals which i've already set up their little cups so it's just a little bit of substrate with a bit of coke bark that's a bit taller and we are going to go with this beautiful sun tiger, um, Amiria. I can't remember what the actual name of a sun tiger is. Like the name, why are tarantula names so hard to say, guys? Why? I just don't get it. So this is my first sun tiger and I am in love. Look how gorgeous that is. But this mofo was fast and I was like, you ain't going to my armpit too. And I got it in there before it did. We ain't having no more armpit spiders. Next up, we have the Trinidad Gold. As you can see, we've got the little setup with a bit of cork bark, just like I did the other one. And as you can see, I'm just showing you guys. Oh, nope, this one's a tight rope up. Tight rope up? Tight rope walk up. Yep, it quite liked the sparkly brush. 
It was super cute, but I know these guys are fast, so I was like, okay, honey, you are going straight in. It was being quite calm, though, so. But much welcomed into my little collection. Into my rather large collection now, to be fair. Ah, so pretty. Last up, this little vase to call out, which I am happy to say started moving inside the tub so oh my lord it scared me i absolutely love a versicola and there's the baby absolute beaut stay in my hands guys Oh my god. And it just went in there like a good little baba. Well happy with them slings. Slings alone make it worth for me. Alright, next up we have the little cutie agent. Who I've just put up a bra plus tub full. And this paper was just falling apart. I was like, come on, just slide out. But it was having none of it. Look at them little legs. Oh, it's the legs. Oh, and this one was quite skittish, to be fair. I was like, okay, buddy, you calm down. But look how beautiful. No, it kept trying to escape. It was a little feisty little thing. But look how gorgeous it is. Beautiful. With its little grape bottom. <laughs> and finally, but certain, lastly, but certainly not least, my beautiful GBB. Now she is in there. I was stressing her out, trying to get her out, so I thought I'm just going to leave her in there. I didn't bother, like, keeping that bit in because it was just me, like, trying to get her out. And in the end, I was like, I'm not stressing you out anymore. But she eventually came out. She is very skinny looking, so she must have just molted. She definitely needs fattening up, which is my priority at the moment, is getting her fattened up and healthy. But honestly, what a little explorer. So friendly, zero threat poses. She was on my hands, she was up my arm. She was playing with my ear at one point. Um, she was on, like walking across my back cover there. She, she was everywhere. So we have lovingly called her, me and the kids. We have called her Dora the Explorer. Look, as I say, she's quite thin. So I'm going to get this girl fattened up as much as possible this week. But she is absolutely lovely. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I really loved unboxing it. I've got another mystery box coming tomorrow, but shh, we'll not like, tell anyone. Anyways, guys... I love you lots and thank you for chilling with me. Toodaloo!